So we're here with Muzz, um, after an away 3-1 defeat at Salisbury. Yeah, it was a late goal, um, and it was a, we were going for it, but um, thoughts on the game first of all, Muzz? Yeah, I think I think you're right there, Charles. It definitely wasn't a 3-1 free, free game. Um, <clears throat> I thought first half it was evenly matched. I think we just cancelled each other out, really. Um, we conceded a, a real sloppy and disappointing goal from a, a good footballing side. They, they actually scored from a long throw and they got on a scrappy second ball and the lads uh, reversed it and, and put it in the net. It's a really disappointing goal from, from us. You know, one, one thing we didn't think we'd concede from is, is a, you know, a long throw from, from them. So it's a real disappointing one from, from us. Um, but first half of foot was... Apart from that, mismatch, there wasn't really much in the game. Um, and then second half, I thought, I thought we were well on top, to be honest. Um, they hit us for the second goal to go 2-0 up. We made a couple of changes to try and get some more attacking players on the pitch. And they dropped very deep and give us the ball. So we made that change to try and have the um, some footballers on the pitch that can control the game. And unfortunately, they hit us on the counter. And from my angle, it looks a, it looks a really good finish. So to go 2-0 down, <clears throat> you know, we were disappointed. But to be fair to the lads, they then, they then rallied and they, they stuck in there and stayed in the game. They, I think they had another half chance on, the, on a counter. But we've had some big opportunities in some big areas today. Yes, you're right, you said to me before, keeper hasn't really made any big saves. But we've had some big chances. And when you go Rolfie and Rick and Zach there at the end, We've had some opportunities where on another day we might have took them and, and you know, get back in the game quite comfortably. And I felt if we got the second, we'd go on and win the game. But, you know, chasing it at the end, the last kick of the game, we threw Zaki forward and obviously they've, you know, we made a madness decision there and uh, and they've they've got in and, and scored right at the death. So, look, a real disappointing result, of course. it was a, it's, a, it's a football match that we wanted to come away with three points, but... we're unfortunate for the first time in, in 14, I think it is, to, to lose. This um, year? This year, you know, that you've got to put your hands up to the, the boys to be 13 games unbeaten. I think we won 11 and drew two, and then this was the game we got beat. So it's really important that it's a bit of a reset from us that sometimes when you go on really good runs, they, they can hang on you a little bit. And I think previous, prior to this, we've been getting through, which is a real credit to the lads, but we, you know, we haven't been at where we probably needed to be um, or wanted to be, shall I say. So look, we take this game as a reset, disappointing um, result as it is. We take it as a reset, and we, we plan now for what a you know big game on Saturday again. So you said about the changes and go for more attacking, and then they scored the second. Did you think that we made the right choice at that point? Uh, you can obviously say that because I think it happened quite quickly. But you know, I think they broke, and we, we've give the ball away, and they've broken. He's a good good ball over Cal. I think we're quite comfortable, but he's it. He's at a pinpoint pass over the over the top of Cow, and then even then, I'm still quite comfortable with the area of the box that he was in. And listen, he's hitting the side netting, and again, like I say, from my angle, from where I see, it looks like a, a great finish. So, not really. I thought, look, we've made the we've made the uh, the changes to go and get back in the game, and, and we were saying at two 0 let's if we're going to lose, let's lose three or four, trying to get back in the game. And uh, like I said, I think after they scored the second, I thought it was all us. And, uh, on another day, with the opportunities we had, we may have taken a couple more and, and got back in the game. But it is what it is, Giles. We move on to Tuesday, Thursday, preparing for Saturday. Yeah, you can see as the players came off the, the disappointment in their face. Will this encourage them for next week? Yeah, I just think it's a, it's a reset. Like I said to you, sometimes when you're going on really good runs, which we've been on, it, it can be it can be a little bit dragging. So I think it's good. No, Good, obviously, but it's good for the lads that you know reset the, the game, the, the unbeaten in 13, winning 11, drew two is it, gone now. We've got a reset, we've got eight games to go, and we're going into every game with the exact same mentality that we need to try and win the game. Forget anything else that's going on in the background. Our focus is fully on preparing for Saturday's fixture, and uh, we'll be doing that Tuesday, Thursday, uh, ready for ready for the game Saturday. Yeah, as I say, big game today. Is it bigger next week? No, they're all the same. It's the same. Yes, we're coming to second in the league, but it's, it's all big games. When you're in, when you're at this stage of the season, every game's a big game, and we've said that at the end. Uh, you know, we've unfortunately come on stuck today, and we we haven't won the game. But next Saturday, it's another big game. It's as, as simple as that, and we'll prepare no differently 
to Saturday as we have for today and we prepared no differently for today as we did Hamwell or Hendon. Um, it's the exact same preparation and we'll, we'll take every team we play you know, seriously and we know we, we know at home if, if we turn up and we're at it and you're going to have to be some side to beat us at home. So we're allowed to all uh, recover and get involved and ready for Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah, I know you sent the boys over at the end to, to thank the fans, but did they have a, an edge today? Yeah, they did. Look, unfortunately, they have, um, we didn't get the result in it, but it's keep saying all the time it's unbelievable to see especially today they've you know travelled in their numbers I'm not sure if they had one or two mini buses coaches come so that's big and it's it's going to be massive coming home so with the eight games and it's just from me JD and our staff and all the players we just hope that that continues and you know we're going to have to we're going to need them coming home we're going to need them Saturday so a real thank you from the boys unfortunately we couldn't get the result that we all wanted but we move on to Saturday we will look forward to Saturday and we'll chat then. Cheers. Cheers, mate.